coming for you on that. I have no clue what you're talking about, man. Good morning and more questions and answers stemming from the Santos campaign's amended financial disclosures, which appear to now more complicate than clarify how he and his campaign earn money. All as calls grow on both sides of the aisle and in Santos' own district for him to resign. New York freshman representative George Santos closing the door on campaign financing questions. I have no comment for you on that. I have no clue what you're talking about, man. New campaign disclosures filed Tuesday suggest at least $625,000 Santos marked as self-funded may not be after all. Now one March 2022 loan for $500,000 and another last October for $125,000 are no longer marked as personal funds from the candidate. And because the revised filings omit the loan's sourcing, interest rates, and due dates, experts say Santos could face campaign finance violations. Adding to questions, the Santos campaign's named treasurer, Thomas Datweiler, is denying any involvement. His lawyer telling ABC News the records were signed under Datweiler's name without his consent, which experts say is illegal. Amid increasing bipartisan calls for Santos to resign, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says Santos's future depends on what the Ethics Committee finds. If for some way when we go through ethics that he has broken the law, or you know, then we will remove him. And as for stepping down, Santos has said he will only do so when his constituents vote him out. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.